Hi friends, today we're going to draw a ladybug with a magnifying glass. So for this project you're going to need some watercolor paper. The watercolor paper is very important for the shading. You need a sharpie, again important, so that your marker doesn't bleed when you go and paint. So make sure that you have an actual sharpie. A pencil, an eraser, watercolor paints, paint brushes, water, and a paper towel. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna grab our pencils first, and we're actually gonna start with the magnifying glass. If you have something round that you wanna use to trace, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and freehand, but you may use something like a cup or a bowl, whatever you'd like. My circle probably won't be perfect, and that's okay. All right, so there's my circle. Now we have a circle inside of a circle. So we're I'm actually gonna draw uh, an outside circle now. So right following that same line that you already made, you can kind of go around. Again, if you have something that is similar in size, you can use that too, but I'm gonna just freehand but we want the same distance around like that. And then we're gonna draw the handle of the magnifying glass. So I'm just gonna take my pencil, make a straight line down and a straight line down on this side. I did make it come up like a little bit further just so that the shape of the handle wasn't perfect, but you can either make it the same or you can kind of make this part thicker and this part thinner whatever you want to do if you want to make it thinner you can just start it closer like this and then you can erase some of those pencil lines like that all right so next we're going to draw in the ladybug so we're going to start right about here on the magnifying glass kind of make a big U shape, and then we're gonna stop like this. All right, we're gonna draw the first wing of the ladybug. We're gonna start about the middle and kind of curve this way like that. And then we're gonna start about here and curve this way. So now we have two wings for our ladybug. I'm gonna draw a little highlight in here just so I don't forget later. But you can see I left that little highlight there. We're gonna draw some spots on our ladybug. So you can just draw some different circles. Some of them might be on the edge like this. Some of them might be perfect circles like this. Just add in a couple spots. All right, now I'm gonna draw the ladybug's head. So we're gonna start about here and draw again, just kind of like a C shape and meet on the other side like that. I'm gonna go ahead and draw in some highlights here too, just so we don't forget when we are using our markers. You can go ahead and draw in some antenna. I have a little circle, a highlight, and a highlight on this side. All right, we're gonna draw the leaf. Now, when you're using a magnifying glass, the leaf is gonna look closer. So you can see that these don't perfectly line up. That's because this leaf is further away, further away looking, excuse me, than um, it looks on the magnifying glass. So we're gonna go ahead and start drawing this leaf like this, and then a little bit on this side. Now, even here, you can see that this is a, a short little line, but here on this leaf, you can see some thickness. Because if you were using a magnifying glass, it would look thicker. So we're gonna go ahead and draw that in like this. All right, and we're gonna draw this bottom portion of the leaf. Kind of a V shape. Again, it's gonna look a lot smaller than this one. If we were following this line, the leaf would probably be pretty big. 
but since we're using a magnifying glass, it's a little different. So we're gonna go ahead and draw just a single line here, maybe make it a little thicker just at the base of this leaf, like that. just like that. All right. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna draw this top portion of the leaf. We're gonna start in from this line, kind of turn it like this. All right, and draw in a line here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab our Sharpies and follow all these lines with our Sharpie. Um, you can make some lines a little bit thicker if you want, just to give it a little more dimension. So the outside of this magnifying glass, I'm definitely gonna make a little bit thicker than the rest of the picture. When you trace your circle, it's probably easiest to turn your page while you're doing it. I'm trying to keep the page like where it's at so because of the video, but um, for you, I would turn your page as you're drawing your circle. It just makes it a lot easier to follow that shape. this inside part. this part of the ladybug. I am going to make this a little thicker too. Not quite as thick as the magnifying glass though. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and fill this part of the ladybug in, but I'm going to leave that highlight white. the spots I just did um, the outline I did use paint for the inside you can either fill it in with your marker now or you can paint it later so I'm going to do the same thing as I did before and just um, do the outline for those all right I'm going to go ahead with the ladybug's head again we want to leave this highlight so make sure not to go over that with your marker part of my leaf and the outer part of the leaf. Don't forget to draw in the antennas and leave that highlight. Okay. 
and I got that just a little thick, but that's okay. Okay, I think I am done with my marker, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my eraser and I'm gonna erase all of my pencil marks so that we can start painting. take my paintbrush and my um, paper towel and we're gonna go ahead and start with the leaf all right I'm gonna take some water and just go over this portion of the leaf here and then I'm gonna grab my green paint and I'm gonna go right around the edges you can see that it moves itself in then I'm gonna go over this um, line on the leaf which would be a little darker so you can see that it kind of takes care of moving into the center all by itself. It might be lighter in the center, but that's good just to provide a little bit of shadowy looks onto your um, leaf there. Okay, so that portion's already done, and I'm going to go ahead and do this middle spot with the leaf. So again, I'm going to take some water and fill in all the spots. I still have some leftover green paint on my brush, which is fine. Oh, try not to go over your highlight like I just did. If you do, you can kind of pick up that paint with your brush. A, a nice clean brush though. Okay, um, I'm gonna add some more green here. So you want it to be darker right under this ladybug here because that ladybug will cast a shadow and also down the middle of the leaf will be darker. So I'm actually gonna leave this go for right now and I'm gonna fill in the rest of the leaf and then come back to that. So, and also right around here, that'll be darker as well from the magnifying glass. So you can see there's a white spot there. I wanna make that blend a little bit better. So I'm just gonna add some water and move it in. Then I'm actually gonna add some more dark green up here to make it a little darker and more shadowy. You just gotta keep playing with it until you're happy. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here, kind of move that paint around, add some more for some darker shadows. Like that, okay. I'm going to go back to this spot up here and add a little more dark right along this magnifying glass and also by the ladybug and along this edge. Then I'm going to slowly move that out into the center. can see I'm picking up a little bit of that paint that's in the middle. When you do that, you can just wipe it onto your paper towel. Okay, I think I'm happy with that part. So now I'm gonna have my brush. I'm not gonna have a lot of water on it. I'm just gonna have a little bit of water and I'm gonna pick up some of that same green so that it has more paint than it does water. And then I'm gonna fill in this spot with some dry drier paint that makes it a little darker if it's too dry add just a little tiny bit of water smooth it out a little bit more you can always go in with some more paint even when it dries you can add some more paint just like that i'm going to take that same dark green and do this bottom portion of this leaf just like that and the last thing we need to do with our green is this bottom part of the leaf. 
So we want this to be more similar to this color than this dark color. So I'm just gonna go around the edges there and then I'm gonna rinse off my brush pretty good. And just take some water, plain water, and move that in to the center there. And I'm just gonna take a little dark green and go over that line so that it's dark right in there. Okay, and that's my whole leaf. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the magnifying glass next. So I chose our orange for my magnifying glass. You can see that I made it a little darker down here and here, and then also, especially on the handle, we made some darker here and then light here. So we're gonna do that with our magnifying glass on this side. I'm gonna grab some orange paint and start filling in this magnifying glass. Some orange paint, kind of watery paint, but not super watery, just to give it a base color. And then we'll go back in with some more orange for some darker spots. So there's my base, and then I'm just gonna grab some orange Kind of go along the edge here, as well as right up here. I'm gonna go along this edge, this closer to the center edge. And you can take some water and kind of smooth it out if you need to. All right, just like that. And then we're gonna add some water to the handle. I'm gonna grab some of that orange paint start putting it along this edge. Slowly move up the handle. You can see that it starts to just move along there and blend itself. And move that along, make it more gradient, and that's done. The last part that we need to do is our ladybug. So I'm gonna start with the red of my ladybug. I'm going to make it darker here by the magnifying glass that's casting a shadow. And we're going to try to go around all those spots. So this might take a little bit more time. And just be careful about going around those spots. You can see my paint's getting lighter. So I'm just going to go grab some more red. You want it darker right in here because this wing is over top of this wing. So we want it darker in here. And we just want to move along and also darker in here along the edges. Okay, just like that. I'm going to go ahead back over to this side, start moving this along. You can see I kind of got in the circle there, that's okay. I'm gonna add some dark right along the edge here. And right by that magnifying glass. I feel like this is just a little bit too pink still, so I'm adding a little bit more red over top. Blending that in. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna start on the spots. So I'm just gonna take my black paint and start filling that in. If it looks too light, use less water. You can also add layers. So if it doesn't seem to be getting dark enough, you can just let it dry and then add another whole layer onto it. Some watercolor, especially the black, takes a couple layers to make dark. This brand here that I'm using, I really like. The black is can be black right away. Um, you can see the link for this, um, this brand that I'm using in the description. Okay, 
I'm just filling in all these spots. It's okay if it's not perfectly the same darkness or lightness on these spots. That kind of just gives it more of a 3D type feel if it's not perfect. All right, I think I'm done with my ladybug. I hope you enjoyed painting and drawing with me and I hope to paint and draw with you again. You can click subscribe so you can see when I release new videos. Check out the description for some other fun things that you might be interested in and I can't wait to paint again. Have a great day. Bye.